Across now to Dr. Simon Clark. He's an associate professor in microbiology at the University of Reading in the UK. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on the program today. Now, what role will factors like vaccination rates, immunity from a natural infection, and demographics uh, play in defining the challenges that we're uh, facing for different countries around the world as governments try to overcome this new variant? Well, the, the most important thing to uh, say about this is that different countries have different epidemics. They don't work in lockstep. They don't uh, have the same uh, lethality rates. Um, if you take the Omicron variant in, in South Africa, it appears to have been relatively uh, light in terms of its uh, ability to cause disease. But South Africa has had a, uh, compared to the UK at least, has had a relatively low infection fatality rate right through the, the pandemic. So we have to remember that uh, uh, the impact an infectious disease makes is down not only to the virus, but the people it infects and the environment. And a younger population like South Africa's, uh, which is going from its spring into its summer, is likely to experience something differently compared to, say, the UK, which has an older population heading into, uh, into the winter. Heading into the winter means more uh, colds. Everyone is starting to get sick. Uh, we're seeing that uh, all around us in our families, ourselves. We're all, we all have the cold. Uh, and the suggestion is that the uh, Delta variant may have interacted in some way with the common cold virus to allow the evolution of the Omicron variant. Uh, much of the Northern Hemisphere, as I mentioned and as you mentioned, is already in the middle of flu season. How is this going to play out in uh, the impact of the Omicron wave? Uh, the, the, the conditions which allow spread of respiratory tract viruses um, will make the, the, the pandemic as bad as it's going to be, probably. Um, you know, the, 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 the characteristics of the virus are almost set. It, it's the environment and the people that, are, that it infects that will influence uh, quite how severe things are going to be. Do you think it's too late to shut the barn door when we have studies showing uh, that the Omicron variant is possibly 70 times more transmissible than the Delta variant and restrictions on travel uh, and holiday gatherings are pointless at this stage, maybe? Well, I don't think it's ever too late to, uh, to close the stable door. But the longer you leave it, the less effect it will have. That is just the fact. People don't want government, quite understandably, they don't want governments putting restrictions on their lives unnecessarily. But they have to accept that, uh, that if they do need to put restrictions on, on, on what they do, then uh, delaying things will just make it worse, particularly if there's a, a bad or even sort of middle range severity of uh, outbreak. Well, scientists at uh, the U.S.-based Walter Reed Army Institute of Research say that they're testing a vaccine that could protect against Omicron and uh, future COVID-19 variants. Uh, and a defense industry publication reports that the spike ferritin nanoparticle, or SPFN, uh, vaccine showed promising uh, results in preliminary human and animal trials. Unlike other vaccines, scientists say that this one uses a soccer ball-shaped protein with 24 faces, which allows scientists to attach the spikes of multiple coronavirus strains on different faces of uh, of this protein. Now, if this formula is successful, doctor, in helping tackle uh, this o Omicron variant, what would that mean for the future of this pandemic? Would it bring us a step closer uh, to the end? Uh, quite possibly. Uh, it would mean that you could uh, vaccinate against multiple uh, um, variants in one go, but you could probably do that anyway already if you mix together, um, say, different mRNA vaccines, you would probably get some protection. So it's just another way of delivering protection or hopefully immunity to, to several different um, types of virus at the same time. That does not mean, of course, that it won't, that, that immunity that you get to those viruses won't wane over several months like we see with the current crop. All right, Dr. Simon Clark, thank you so much for joining us here on the News Hour and sharing that insight with us.